Hi Libra, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly reading for May. I hope everybody out there is doing well. I want to take a second to remind you that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with every Libra out there, so take what resonates for you. Leave the rest for someone else. And you can also check your other signs and placements to see if those readings resonate better. Keep in mind the energies can reverse or flip-flop, and that's not unusual in a general reading. As always, Libra, please don't try to force yourself into a reading that is simply not for you. Spirit, can I have the energy of the sign of Libra? Libra. All right, Libra, we're starting out with judgment. You have the Seven of Cups, and coming out together, we have Page of Swords, the Four of Swords in the reverse, and the Ace of Swords. Interesting. So, I'm definitely seeing something about communication. Um, I do feel like, Libra, that um, you have options here. You definitely have options here, but there's going to be communication about something that you've seen or communication about um, some, it could be somebody telling you something. Um, and I definitely see that there's going to be, it's going to provide a lot of clarification. It might be about someone that you are not attached to right now or haven't talked with in a while, or it could be from that person. But I feel like you're, if it is from that person that you haven't talked to in a while, um, you're curious about this person. You're very curious. You may have even gone and looked in on them to see what's going on with them. Um, I am seeing communication for sure, though, here. Now, I do feel that there's been some confusion in this connection. You may feel judged by this person, or you may be judging this person. But I feel like you feel judged. Um, I feel like somebody ghosted you here and you're going to hear from this person who ghosted you or you're going to, um, I don't know if, if there's some, it could be something that you've seen, that you see that will, will provide clarification that will clear up the confusion. I do feel like you might want a reconciliation with somebody. So let's see who's in your energy here. Spirit, show me who is in Libra's energy. Show me who is in Libra's energy. Communication is very strong. And whatever this communication is, it could be from a, uh, another person or it could be, thank you. It could be from another person or it could, that's going to provide clarity on a, on a, a subject or a person that you haven't talked with in a while, something that was very confusing to you, or it could be um, that person communicating. Show me who's in Libra's energy. Show me who is in Libra's energy. Keep going? Okay. All right, so the person in your energy, we have the magician in the reverse. You could be dealing with a Gemini. We have the five of pentacles reversed. And coming out together, we have the king of swords reversed and the emperor. Sign of Aries, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All right, so this person that's in your energy, I do feel like this person um, wants a reconciliation here. I feel like this is somebody who feels like they have been abandoned or rejected. And I feel like they feel that things just didn't manifest between the two of you in the way that they had wanted. Um, with the King of Swords in the reverse and the Magician, though, be careful with this person because this person could be a little tricky in their energy. There's a, a sense here that this person's not always very honest. They, they do whatever it takes to get what it is that they want to get things done, but they're not always honest about it. They can be manipulative. So be aware of that. I am seeing that this is somebody who likes to be in charge. They like things to go their way. 
and they don't they don't mind you know being dishonest in order for that to to happen so this could be a business owner this could be somebody who's a high level manager but this is somebody who is very used to things going in the direction that they want i feel like you know they're there was some sense of rejection this person experienced. And so, and I do feel that there's been a lack of communication with this person as well. There may be also some kind of a legal situation that is not um, going in the direction that they are wanting. There's a sense of frustration that this person is experiencing and it's because things are not manifesting in their life the way they want them to. Um, there's a sense of, of blockages for them, a sense of um, things being stuck. Let's see the let's see the energy between the two of you. Two of Swords reversed. Yeah, so there's been a lot of indecision in this connection, kind of going back and forth, um, which is why things aren't manifesting. I feel like the person that you are uh, connecting with here, Libra, has been very indecisive, but now they're trying to resolve that. I see that you also may have been a bit indecisive, but I feel like you you may want a reconciliation with this person. Now, some of you are casting a final judgment on this, um, and you do have other options as well. Some of those options you're not seeing very clearly. What's affecting this connection is the Three of Wands. Yeah, there's a period of waiting. It's a sense of waiting. Yeah, with all this indecisiveness in this connection, it's like neither of you have been taking action. I feel like you may be fielding other options, looking at other other options. This person might be one of the options, but you have you have clearly other options in front of you. There's a sense of you feeling that there that's a karmic justice in this connection because of their indecisiveness. You're both waiting, though, and that's what's affecting this connection. Let me see the outcome at the end of the week. The Queen of Pentacles. So I do feel like both of you are working hard on your money. Um, I also feel like there is a sense here that you're looking to see if this person is either financially stable, if they're willing to offer a commitment, um, or if they are involved with someone else. Now, the person in your energy, um, so I'm, I'm really getting a sense of non-communication here. The person that's in your energy, I do feel that this person um, has been dishonest about either commitment, money, or, or another commitment that they have. So, yeah, very interesting. All right, bottom of the deck is the Queen of Wands. This is underlying energy. It, it is an energy of action. It shows me that Libra, you definitely feel um, like you're in a, a um, glow up of some kind. You are very attractive. Um, I feel that you are, you could also be a business owner. I'm seeing um, that that's a possibility or a manager. Either way, people are paying attention to you. People are very attracted to you and, and you're aware of this. And this is why you do have all these options that are in your life here. Um, I also see that you're somebody who is a go-getter. You like to get things done. I'm seeing that um, in addition to that, though, there was a somebody tried to create a third party here, possibly. I don't feel like it was you. I feel like that's that's the area of contention. That's the area where there's been indecisiveness. Yeah, I feel like this person in your energy try because they have dishonesty in their energy here. And it's regarding the Queen of Pentacles and then we have the Queen of Wands. Now you could be dealing with an Aries, Leo or Sagittarius, but I I'm definitely seeing that there is this energy of somebody trying to create a third party with you being the third party. So let's clarify. Spirit, why is judgment here for Libra? All right, we have, yeah, we have the five of wands. That's competition. And we have the three of pentacles. So there's a sense here of, of you wanting a reconciliation with this person, but they may be in either you or them, but it looks like them is in a, 
in a another commitment, another situation. You want to have a commitment in your life. You've made this decision. Um, there is still a little bit of a remnant here, though, of feeling conflicted about wanting a reconciliation with this person. I am seeing that you're, you feel very conflicted about something to do with a contract here, but I don't feel like I don't feel like uh, there's third party energy all over this. I don't feel like you're in a commitment with this person. There was some sort of foundation here between you and this person, and I do see that there there was a lot of conflict in that. There was definitely a lot of conflict in it, and it caused you to create a a judgment call here. Yeah, you made a judgment call, and that judgment call is that you want to have a stable foundation in your life. You want peace, cooperativeness, um, but there's conflict in your energy, Libra, because you may also want a reconciliation with this person. So, I feel like you, you wanted to create a stable foundation with this person, and it just created conflict. Yeah, six of coins... Five of Cups reversed, Four of Wands reversed. So the confusion was about whether or not somebody was going to end a marriage or a long-term connection. You were waiting for this to happen. I feel like this created a lot of sadness in your life, and I feel like um, somebody was giving their energy to more than one person. There's definitely third party written all over this reading. I am seeing that you are now opening your heart to love, and you have many different options. I feel like you're showing up here, Libra, as being somebody who gives unconditional love and you're very generous, but you've, you've gone through a very difficult period in your life. You've gone and done a review of that difficult period. Um, you were waiting for somebody to end something that was a marriage or a long-term connection, and I feel like um, you gave unconditional love to this person. You were very generous with them. And it caused sadness. It caused a lot of uh, regrets in your life here. And I feel like you're now refocusing your attention. You're now coming out of that. Your, your spirits are lifting. And I feel like people do view you as very generous and loving. Um, I am seeing that your heart is opening and you're, you're looking for love now. And you do have options. You're kind of waiting to, to find the right one, it looks like. Let's see the bottom energy. We have the High Priestess, we have the Queen of Wands in the reverse, and we have the Ten of Cups. Yeah, you're looking for your happiness. You're, you're looking at these different options that are being presented to you by the universe, and you're looking, you're looking for love. You're looking for happiness. Um, you're not going to be a third party. Queen of Wands, Queen of Wands reversed. So this situation was created because somebody that you were involved with, you wanted this stable foundation. There's a part of you that still does. However, you know that you have other options and this caused a lot of sadness. You, you verbalized to this person that you're not going to be a third party in this situation. So I feel like you're not taking any action towards this person. You would like to talk to them, but you're not, you're not going to take action. I do feel like you're curious about this person, and I also feel like you would like to communicate, but you're you're not going out of your way to do so. You're not going to be the one to initiate it. I feel like um, with the Ace of Swords and the High Priestess that you're very spiritual in nature. Some of you guys could be tarot readers or psychics, or you could work in the spiritual field in some manner. I feel like... Uh, with the Ace of Swords here, um, you've become very clear about your mission here in life. There's a clarity that you have received. And I do feel like you're a highly spiritual person. So there's, there's just this sense here of there's something from the past that's still holding on to you a little bit, but you're slowly moving away from that, moving out of that energy. So... And I don't feel like you're communicating with this person, but you would like to. 
So let's see the energy of this person. Why is uh, the magician in reverse? Knight of Cups reversed and the Nine of Wands. So this person's very defensive here. I feel like um, they have feelings for you, they have love for you, but they're not they're not presenting those feelings. They're they're almost acting like um, that they don't trust you. They don't trust what decisions you've made. They don't trust the decisions you're going to make. So therefore, they're they're not going to come forward and present this cup of love to you. But there's manipulation in the in their energy. Um, there's almost a sense of them feeling like somehow you victimize them, that they're a victim. Um, I am seeing that this person has been hurt. I am seeing that this person um, feels like they've gone through a lot with you in this connection and that things didn't manifest the way they wanted it to either. However, I don't see them taking responsibility for not showing their emotions. There's a there's a manipulative energy here with regard to them revealing their feelings and emotions. Um, let's see why. They may even feel like you have rejected them because that's what I'm seeing here. This is an energy of somebody who is feeling like they've been rejected. Okay, we have the Eight of Pentacles reversed and the Six of Swords reversed. So either they feel that you walked away from the connection and that's not what they wanted, but more likely it looks as if this person walked away from the connection and now they regret it and they feel stuck. They're not moving forward, but they want to move back in your direction. They're still emotionally tied to this connection. They actually want a reconciliation here but I don't see them moving forward. I see them kind of stuck in their energy, stuck in these feelings of rejection and, you know, feeling disappointed um, and non-trusting. It's, it's really like this person created a situation and now they feel like they're the victim. And they're stuck in that energy. And so there's all this waiting and waiting and waiting. You're waiting for this person to end a an existing connection, but now other options have opened for you, and you are also waiting for that. It's it's like you may have said to yourself, if this isn't the right person for me, then please send me the right person, and it looks like the universe is doing that. This person, though, is stuck in some very low vibrational energy that they're just, they're not moving towards what it is that will truly make them happy. Um, there's a sense here that they want to, but they're not. They're stuck in low vibrational energy. Let's look at the bottom energy. Show me the bottom energy. Four of swords reversed. Now you have the four of swords reversed in your energy as well. Three of cups reversed and the Page of Pentacles. So this person, I feel like, does want to talk to you as well. You both do, and I'm seeing a lot of non-communication. You both want to talk to each other. I feel like this person may actually come forward and talk to you. They may take charge of the situation. Um, I feel like this, if they do, it's going to be something small, like a text or, you know, a message, uh, but there is something tangible here that this person is offering. This could be somebody too that um, if this is a somebody who owns a business, their their business may not be producing as much as they want, or they don't feel that they have enough to offer you. Um, but I am seeing that there is a, a a dishonesty that's here regarding reconciliation. This is an unhappy person and they're stuck in some very low vibrational energy. They know that there cannot be a reconciliation as long as this Queen of Pentacles is still here. So this person, this person is in a, an established connection and the Queen of Pentacles sits between the two of you. And the Queen of Pentacles is a, is a devoted partner or wife. So 
I do feel that this person may communicate with you, but be aware that they're not going to be communicating honestly because what they want is a reconciliation, but they're, they're dishonest about it. Yeah, they're dishonest. I feel like this is somebody who, you know, doesn't want to invest. There's a lack of investment with regard to this. So let's look at the connection between the two of you. I feel like the conflict between the two of you has caused both of you to make decisions. This person fears conflict. Yeah, two of swords. They, de they chose to keep their feelings to themselves, and that's why things are not manifesting the way they want. And they've chosen to play the victim. Two of pentacles. You, so, two, two, two. Um, <laughs> you feel like this is an unbalanced equation. It's an unbalanced situation, and that's what's caused the conflict. You feel it's unbalanced because you were put in competition with someone else. So, you've made a judgment call here. And that judgment call includes you wanting a stable foundation for yourself. You feel that this, this connection is unbalanced. You may have felt like you gave more than you received in the connection. Um, let's see why well, this Three of Wands is here. So what's affecting this connection is this waiting energy. Yeah, you're tired of waiting. Hangman in reverse, but they're going to stand their ground. And that's what's keeping them stuck. They're stuck in these low vibrational energies because they're they're not budging. They're not moving forward. There's It's like they're trying to make a point here um, that they're going to wait you out. So even though they want a reconciliation, they're not admitting it. They're not being honest about it. And they're, they're going to wait you out. But I don't see you being that concerned. I feel like um, you feel it's unbalanced and you did wait for this person, but you're no longer waiting. You have other options available to you. And I feel like you're looking at this situation very differently than you did in the past. You did a thorough review of this connection. You looked at the past and you decided that you're not investing in something that is going to be third party. And so I feel like you now have other options and you're beginning to view those other options differently as well. You've decided you want love in your life. And I feel like um, I feel like you have those, those options are being presented to you. And that's the karma that this person is facing. And you're aware of it. You're aware of it, but you're not keeping it clear. Or, or you're not keep you're keeping it to yourself. You're very, very clear about what's taking place here. It's almost like you can see into this person's um, energy. And, and you definitely have some psychic ability, whoever I'm talking to. You can see into this person's energy and you're seeing them very clearly. And as a result, you're seeing this connection very clearly. So I, I feel like you, you've made a judgment call here. Let's, let's look at your outcome. Ace of Wands, Ten of Coins, and the Sun in Reverse. Yeah, so there's a... <laughs> Be careful that this person doesn't come in um, trying to seek just a sexual connection because there's a very strong sexual connection between the two of you, um, unless that's what you want. I do feel that you're looking for happiness in your life, and I do feel that you haven't found that yet. You haven't found that, that connection that you're looking for, but you're being presented with options from the universe. Um, I do feel that, that you're unhappy with this situation because I am seeing that you feel that it was very sexual and that maybe that's all that was involved here. Um, yeah, but you're not sure. You're not sure of that. You're also not sure whether or not this person is still involved with this Queen of Pentacles. Um, I can tell you that they are. They they want to come in. There's especially missing the physical connection between the two of you. And I do feel that this person could come in. And what they're offering is more of a sexual connection. They're not offering um, 
the emotions and the love. Yeah, um, this person is in another connection, and I do see that it's a long-term connection that they're not happy in. They're not honest with that person either, but they, they can get their way with that person. They're able somehow to get their way with that person. Um, maybe, I, I don't know, but that's what I'm seeing. I do feel like they feel more at, in control and in charge of that situation, but they're not happy in that situation. And they're definitely wanting the physical interaction with you. Um, I do see, though, that you're unsure of what their intentions are. So you may hear from this person. And if you do, they're offering you something, but it's not, it's not the emotions. Now, I'm going to tell you, they clearly have the emotions. But they, they're dug in. It's like they're, they're waiting. They're not going to reveal that. So this person, you know, wants wants the party favors without the party. <laughs> and I, I don't see you going for that, Libra. I don't see you going for that at all. And you definitely have plenty of other options, but none of those options have yet been what it is that you're looking for. You're definitely viewing this connection differently. And I don't feel like you're taking action towards, you know, communicating with this person. You've been doing a lot of healing. And as a result, you're in a, a little bit of a um, ascension energy here. Your, your intuition is really, really sharp. It's really clear. And I feel like you can see this person very clearly. Whereas in the past, you had some difficulty seeing this person for, for everything that they are. It's almost like you see right through to their soul. Interesting. Bottom of the deck is the King of Cups in the reverse. So the emotions are not being offered. Um... On either side, really, I do see that with the King of Cups, you're, you have a lot of feelings towards this person, but you know that you have other options. Um, you're definitely in a glow up. Your intuition is spot on, so trust your intuition. And I'm also seeing with the uh, King of Cups here, this person may even in some manner, whether it's 5D, you know, social media, or maybe they live around the corner, I don't know. But this person does kind of try to keep up with what's going on with you. But they're really in some low vibrational energy here. They're also in an unhappy connection. And they, they're they missing you. They want to come in. But I feel like um, I feel like they're not being honest either with themselves and definitely not in this connection right now. So, all right. I'm going to pull an Oracle card, Libra, and we'll see... If there's any guidance for you. All right, let's see what we've got. We have daydream. You will more easily hear and receive our messages if you daydream regularly. Relax and open your mind to receiving without directing your thoughts. Just notice any feelings, visions, or ideas as if you were watching a movie. This is the seat of creativity. That's beautiful. So take your time, um, do a little daydreaming, meditation, that type of thing, but be open to what you're receiving because spirit is talking to you and you guys are in a very deeply psychic energy here. So that's very nice advice. All right. I hope that this has been helpful, Libra. If you have resonated with this reading, hit that like button and be sure to subscribe to my channel until I see you in your next reading. Namaste.